So as we get into the warmer months of the year, I gotta say that it is hard sometimes to find the right items that you can wear in so many different situations, whether it's a date, whether you're going to church, whether you're hanging out with friends, you wanna be stylish in all situations. Now, while I am a huge menswear guy and I love to get dressed up and wear a suit, I think I also do love to wear a dressy casual or just a smooth casual outfit. And I think that Abercrombie & Finch is one of the best brands out right now when it comes to that in-between casual and dress at the same time. And that's why on today's video, I'm gonna do a try on haul and I'm gonna talk about the product. That way, you know exactly what you're looking for when you decide to go to the store or when you're shopping online because you know your boy, Trey Bryant, already tested it and showed it to you. If you're new here, my name is Trey and I'm here to bring you men's fashion and style inspiration, grooming, faith, and even more. My job is to help you be a better guy. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you join the community and hit that subscribe button and also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Trey Bryant style. So starting off with saying just for reference, I am 5'11". That is my true height. Now if your boy, you know, I might want to put some shoes on. I may be 6'1 after that, depending on if I got some boots or how thick they are. We ain't gonna talk about that. But I'm a true size of 5'11". As far as my weight, right now I am weighing in at 185. So that's just for reference to see how the clothes fit on me. If you have a relative body size to that, you'll get a better gauge of what size you should be wearing as well. Now how this video is gonna go, is I'm going to feature the different pieces that are my favorite that I think you should check out. And then after I finish featuring the pieces, I will put together about five different outfits from the collection. And you guys tell me what you think about them. So starting off first, we're going to start with all of the pants that I love. And the first pants that I put on were these cargos that are from Abercrombie & Finch. Guys, I love these cargos. I'm a little bit new, I have to be honest, when it comes to a loose fitting trouser. But when it comes to these cargos, I feel like they just fit. They're very flowy in how they lay. And this size I'm wearing a 33 32 I don't think it's too tight on my waist at all I love the fabric because it's not too light it also has a heavyweight feeling to it as well I think this looks really good with a casual or street fit this is very new for me like I said before just because I think about two years ago I was wearing cargos that were slightly a little bit tighter than this but I really like it I think this is definitely one of the better pants that any brand could feature switching over to that same style of cargo pant is the camo version of that one now I really do love a cargo camo. This is really, really popular in the streetwear community if you're not familiar. I used to rock camo pants a whole lot more when I was in high school and a little bit in college. I haven't had one since. Now I gotta say with this particular fit, it's just smooth, man. I can't wait to rock like some basic outfits with that just because I do like a pant with a little bit more of a design or a pattern in it. And I think something with a militant swag like that can definitely be worn in a bunch of different ways. You can't go wrong with the camo pant because you have all of your colors for earth colors right there. So they're very easy to style. Now these third pair of pants that I'm featuring right now, I gotta say they're new for me guys. Like I'm gonna be honest with you. They are the 90 straight fit jeans that are from Abercrombie & Finch. Now if you follow any of my shorts here on the channel or you've seen any of my other videos on social media, I am a true person that is just very used to the slimmer or tapered fit jean. Even maybe winging me a little bit off of the skinny jeans. But now I'm definitely trying to embrace the 90 straight fit. I do like the 90 straight fit a lot. They're very, very comfortable on these particular jeans. I think that they can go with a numerous amounts of different outfits. I've tried them with sneakers. I've tried them with loafers. I've tried them different ways. And I gotta say that I have found a good result wearing all of them. And I really do love it. I think that these are gonna get a lot of wear from me this summer, especially when it comes to casual outfits. I'm actually even wearing them with this outfit right now while I'm doing this particular talking part. But in the part that you see right now, guys, I really really think if you're looking for a jean that you can wear with a multitude of different outfits, I think you should definitely try the 90s fit jean, especially if you're a guy that is like me and you're still used to that slim fit and you can't exactly go. I think this is a great starting place. And the last pant that we'll do on this list is going to be the seven inch seam shorts. Yes. If you guys saw my last video about summer style trends, you know that I'm always with the shorter shorts, the hoochie daddy shorts, the seven inch seam shorts that are going to show off those quads. What I told you before, in my last video that you cannot skip leg day being a part of this. So I think that their shorts are great. I think that they're comfortable, flowy. If you got enough thigh around the area, they may hug it a little bit and show that quad area. But I really do like the shorts. I bought their shorts last year, the seven inch seam all day shorts. I think you can wear these with a bunch of different outfits. They also have more of a gym short too as well. If you guys really do like this video, I may do a second haul on that gym short too and do more of their athleisure clothing. But 
but particularly for this, I think with your dressy and casual clothing, these shorts work well for that. Also guys, just for reference, in all of the pants, I'm wearing a 33-32. Now for tops. The first top that I'm gonna be featuring is their Essential Popover Hoodie. Now I gotta say that these hoodies are super soft. I have a lot of hoodies, and if you're a hoodie person, I think it's all about fit and comfort. Now with this, I'm wearing a size medium with this particular hoodie. It is an oversized hoodie. It does not fit more like a slimmer hoodie. And I think a lot of people would normally like that a lot, more of that oversized look, more for you to be able to be a little bit more comfortable in. Now I have this hoodie in a chocolate and a mustard. I think that these are great colors. You guys know that I'm really big on the chocolate earth color or the brown, but I also decided to get a pop of color for the spring and summertime. And I did a mustard yellow color, which I think is gonna go well with other outfits. Remember, you do have to dress that down a little bit just because you don't wanna overpower everybody in their eyes if you're gonna wear that pop of color. If you wanna tone it down with the 90s fit jeans that I featured earlier, or you can even do a more of a earth style pant. I'm actually kinda liking this oversized trend a little bit. I'm trying to lean into it more than I have in the past. And I think that's something definitely that you should try because as your style evolves, I think that we all have to find other things, find other avenues that we can go on a style adventure with. The second top is gonna be these Johnny Collar sweater polos, and I really do love these as well. These are textured, so I think that is truly best for the summertime when it comes to textured polos. You wanna make sure that you stand out in some type of way, shape, or form, right? So when you're wearing a monochromatic outfit, when you're wearing an outfit that's also elevated at the same time could be considered casual, I think it's a huge deal to be able to have texture in it. It makes your outfit look more interesting when you decide to do that, and I think that Abercrombie did a great job with these polos. The fit on them is pristine. I love how they lay exactly on my bicep. They make me look swole. I think that a polo like this also accentuates more of your benefits if you are a person that's in the gym or if you are a person that has wide shoulders and big arms. Also, just for reference, guys, to let you know, I'm also wearing a medium in all of these tops. Now, for this next top, I'm actually wearing this right now, and this is the crochet button through polo. This is one of my favorites because this is one of the ones that you can layer a lot. I'm layering it right now with a tank top that is also from Abercrombie & Finch, but I didn't want to feature the tank tops in here because you can just go buy the tank tops yourself. You know what tank tops look like, bro. But I really like this. Again, this is another example of texture in their tops in the polo shirts. There's a lot of polos that you're going to be seeing that they have, but that is the beauty of you being able to wear a dressy casual outfit because this is still considered casual versus your traditional polo that you would wear to work or in a professional setting, but still elevated, still cool, still something that you would like to see that you could wear on a date or going to a special day party event, especially brunch. I really like brunch. And let me know in the comments, are you a brunch guy or do you just like to skip it and go straight to lunch? I have this crochet button through sweater polo in three different colors. I have it in a striped one, a burgundy one that I'm wearing right now and a black one as well. Now our last top is also going to be a polo as well. Now keep in mind, this is just more of like my style. They also have other items, but these are just my favorite that I think most of you guys should try. But this one here is a button through sweater polo. Not the crochet one and not texture, but these have designs on them. I think this is just a really cool shirt that adds a little bit more of a creative layer and with that design, right? Because during this time of year, a lot of people like to wear graphic tees. I would opt for this instead of a graphic tee just to maintain that elevated casual in between, but also you're still showing off a little bit of personality in the shirt. And yes, again, this is one of those options I would tone down with your pant. Don't go too crazy in that area. I wouldn't even go too crazy with your shoes, just wearing either the 90s fit jeans or even the cargos with this with some white sneakers or even maybe some chucks as well. So, all right, those are all of the items. Here are the five different outfits that I featured with those items.
And that right there is the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you watching. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite item in the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button to tell YouTube that you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.